Somebody asked me to do a video on a steam engine. So I, was, I just bought one. I got one uh, on eBay. And the reason why I never made a video on a steam engine is because most of the steam engines I got are already great. And uh, I'm just going to give you a little close up here. So I'm using the tip of a pen as a pointer to show you how small some of the valve gear parts are so I actually I don't like getting in there and playing with these they're just very very small parts so uh, this one looks pretty good actually I don't think there's too much wrong with it let me refocus that for you what a beauty so I looked at it a little bit there Everything seems okay except that the tender is uh, unhooked. I think I think it, maybe it's broken, maybe it's unhooked. It's unhooked from the uh, the engine. The drawbar is unhooked. So uh, for very lucky, this one's uh, lettered already for Canadian National. That is good stuff. So these are the parts I do not like to fool around with and uh, all these parts actually do something the um, the tender is unhooked from the, the engine so I'm gonna have to work on that the um, the tender comes apart and the tender does pick up electricity it's not like a Caddo or a Backman the Backman the tenor will pick up electricity from both sides. This one will pick up electricity only from one side per truck. So this truck picks up electricity from this side and this truck picks up electricity from the other side. But it's still a good running little guy. They're really worth fixing. Also uh, it's missing its coupler. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove uh, these two screws and there's also little screws here in the front of the tender that I'll have to remove. But I'll start by removing the trucks. And also like I said one side picks up one side of the track and the other truck picks up the other side of the track. So you want to keep in mind um, which side is picking up what. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the two trucks uh, in the order I took them out, right next to the tender. So I just removed the two little screws up front, and the bottom of the tender becomes loose almost immediately, just like a regular freight car. And now I turn everything upside down so I can have a look at all the wiring inside. Because I do, I do need it for electrical pickup. So naturally, you want to be very gentle with this. And you get a weight. Then it's very simple wiring. You just have the two plates there. And these little plates, they connect uh, with the trucks. And you do like that, you want the truck uh, bring electricity to you and then you can see the drawbar is just off of its pin that's all it is so I'm gonna keep, see if I can put that back so I drilled and tap a hole for my screw now I'm ready to reattach uh, the drawbar to be honest my opinion of these my review of it would be that it's not the best model ever, but it's not the worst model ever uh, either. Uh, the first one that I got, I got one, I said, well, I'll try it, see if I like it. Ended up really liking it. I really like the way this sounds. Uh, the motor feels powerful and it's all metal. So what that means is it's gonna be uh, very heavy. So comparatively, it's a, it 
feels heavy, it, ha it has good pull, and uh, it feels powerful for a small engine. So while I have the, uh, the rear truck in my hands, I'm going to take a second there to clean the wheels, and I'm also going to reattach a coupler. There's a little bit of, of uh, lint there on my axle that that's not going to be acceptable that has got to go so I'm going to do one wheel at a time so I can retain the order what I mean by that is which side is picking up electricity and which side is not you can see uh, down here there's some insulators so you definitely want to keep track of that maybe you could see it better like that so one side of the the axle the wheel is all silver then on the other side the center of the wheel is black so this wheel does not pick up electricity and this wheel does so you need to keep track of that if you put it back the wrong way you're going to make a short circuit so i'll just clean that with my rag this will uh, remove if there's any grease or any dirt in there, it will remove it. Then I'll repeat that for the other wheel and I'll repeat that for the other truck. Make sure that when you put it back, you put the silver side where it goes and the black side where it goes. Also, before I put my tender back, I'm going to run it under my tap with uh, my toothbrush. Get rid of all this extra lint. Now, before I put the rear truck back on the locomotive, I'm going to put my coupler back in there. I was lucky. In the box was the other half of the coupler pocket. So I have choices I could put. Um, Rapido like it came with or I could put um, Micro trains. I happen to have with me today some uh, Backman uh, Easy mate couplers, so I think I'm going to use that As you put it back don't forget the contact strip Now it's really starting to shape up I'm just going to put on the weight Then the shell goes back on that. I still have the two little screws to put uh, under the shell. So that's going to be pretty easy. This here is your piston that gives power to the engine and your valves. This rod right here controls the valve. And this is the fireman side of the, the power reverse gear. There's a cylinder. This is that air tank here that will hold air from the compressor. There's your compressor. This will produce a pressured air for your brakes. Now let's look at the other side. So here you have the firebox. This is the power reverse here. And there's another uh, air tank on this side. Now the air tanks, the compressors, they can all be on different sides depending on what the particular railroad ordered. So that's fun to look around, see the different models and see where each uh, railroad had ordered all these tanks and compressors to be. And now it's time to run some trains. All these 462s that I have, they all run very, very well. I'm very pleased with them. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.